In the previous video, we discussed about the structure of ATP and how it releases the energy. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about glycolysis, the first major pathway for glucose metabolism. So, with this glycolysis, we will be able to see where from these ATPs are getting generated from glucose. To define a glycolysis, we say it is a metabolic pathway that converts glucose into pyruvate. The free energy released in this process is used to form the high energy molecules like ATP and NADH. That is reduced form of nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide. First of all, we see the location of glycolysis is in the cytosol of all cells. The uniqueness in the glycolysis is that it can function either aerobically or anaerobically. Erythrocytes which lack mitochondria are completely reliant on glucose as their metabolic fuel and metabolize it by anaerobic glycolysis. Now let's see the glycolysis in detail. We divide glycolysis into two phases. First is the preparatory phase or we can say investment phase wherein the ATP is consumed. The second phase is the payoff phase wherein the ATP is getting generated. To start a glycolysis we have a glucose molecule wherein by the help of hexokinase or glucokinase enzyme and the energy from ATP the glucose gets converted into glucose 6-phosphate. In this reaction phosphorylation of glucose occurs by hexokinase enzyme. After that the phosphohexose isomerase enzyme acts on glucose 6-phosphate and rearranges it into fructose 6-phosphate. Till now all the compounds getting formed have 6 carbons like glucose molecule had. Now again in this step the energy from ATP is getting used and with the help of enzyme phosphofructokinase the fructose 6-phosphate is converted into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Now this molecule has got 2 phosphates at 1 and 6 position so called 1,6-bisphosphate. Cofactors like magnesium ions aid in this reaction. After that fructose 1,6-bisphosphate gets converted into 2 types of molecules. One is the dihydroxyacetone 3-phosphate and other being the glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate with the help of aldolase enzyme. But the dihydroxyacetone 3-phosphate rapidly isomerizes into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate with the help of isomerase enzyme. So for the next set of reactions we have two molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate that makes the total number of carbons again to 6. Now after that both the molecules of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate proceeds into two sets of reactions that are same and from here the payoff phase starts that means we will be getting ATP and NADH produced. The aldehyde group of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate are oxidized and inorganic phosphate is added to them forming 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate and also NAD is reduced to NADH in this reaction. Both the molecules formed contain 3 carbons each. Now in the proceeding step we see the enzymatic transfer of phosphate group from 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate to ADP by phosphoglycerokinase forming ATP and 3-phosphoglycerate. And then after in the next reaction we see there is isomerization where phosphoglycerobutase isomerizes 3-phosphoglycerate into 2-phosphoglycerate. After that the enolase enzyme converts 2-phosphoglycerate to phosphoenol pyruvate. In this reaction we see dehydration also occurs. And finally a final substrate level phosphorylation occurs which forms a molecule of pyruvate and a molecule ATP by means of enzyme pyruvate kinase. So finally we get the two molecules of pyruvate from phosphoenol pyruvate. The pyruvate formate has two fates depending upon the presence and absence of oxygen. If there is anaerobic condition the pyruvate drives into lactic acid fermentation or if there is aerobic condition the pyruvate will drive into citric acid cycle what we call as Krebs cycle also. And we see we have two pyruvate molecules formed that means the citric acid cycle will run twice. Looking at the energy table, we see two ATPs are getting consumed in the investment phase and four ATPs are getting formed in the payoff phase and also two NADH molecules are getting formed in payoff phase which equals to five ATPs. That gives us a total energy net energy of seven ATPs from glycolysis. So this is how the glucose is converted into pyruvate thereby forming energy molecules. I hope you like the video. If you like it, then please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And also, you can support Hussein Biology on Patreon also. Thanks again for watching this video.